सो वॉट इज जे डी के जे डी के और द जवा डेवलपमेंट किट इज़ अ क्रॉस प्लेटफॉर्म सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट दैट ऑफर्स अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टूल्स एंड लाइब्रेरीज नेसेसरी फॉर डेवलपिंग जावा बेस्ड सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन एंड एपलेट्स सो आई एक्सप्लेन इन इट बेसिक वर्ड्स सो आई हैव गिवन यू एन एनोलॉजी फॉर एच डी के इफ यू रिमेंबर लाइक जस्ट लाइक वी नीड ग्रोसरीज सो यू कैन थिंक ऑफ जे डी के और एच डी के एज ग्रोसरी स्टोर एंड यू कैन थिंक ऑफ द इंटेलिजेंट आइडिया और द आई डी ई एज किचन सो वी नीड ग्रोसरीज फ्रॉम द ग्रोसरी स्टोर टू प्रिपेयर फूड इन द किचन सिमिलरली वी नीड सम लाइब्रेरीज और सम टूल्स फ्रॉम द जे डी के और द एस डी के टू प्रिपेयर कोड इन या टू डेवलप या टू रन अ कोड इन द आई डी ई ओके सो द जे डी के इज वन ऑफ द थ्री कोड टेक्नोलॉजी पैकेज यूज इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग अलॉन्ग विद जे वी एम एंड जे आर ई जे वी एम इज द जावा वर्चुअल मशीन जे आर ई इज द जावा रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट ओके सो द जे वी एम इज द जावा प्लेटफॉर्म कंपोनेंट दैट एग्जीक्यूट प्रोग्राम ठीक है सो जे वी एम इज इज द प्लेज रोल इन द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ प्रोग्राम द जे आर ई इज द ऑन डिस्क पार्ट ऑफ जावा दैट क्रिएट्स द जे वी एम ओके सो बेसिकली द जे वी एम जे आर ई जे वी एम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ जे आर ई एंड द जे डी के अलाउज डेवलपर टू क्रिएट जावा प्रोग्राम दैट कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड रन बाय द जे वी एम एंड जे आर ई सो यू विल बी इट विल बी मोर क्लियर बाय दिस द जे डी के कंटेंट्स द जे आर ई एंड सम डेवलपमेंट टूल्स द जे आर ई कंटेंट्स द जे वी एम एंड सम लाइब्रेरी क्लासेस एंड द जे वी एम एग्जीक्यूट्स द कोड द डिस्टिंगशन बिटवीन जे डी के एंड जे आर ई इज दैट जे डी के इज अ पैकेज ऑफ टूल फॉर डेवलपिंग जावा बेस्ड सॉफ्टवेयर वेयर एज जे आर ई इज अ पैकेज ऑफ टूल फॉर रनिंग जावा कोड सो द जे डी के इज अ टूल्स फॉर डेवलपिंग द जावा बेस्ड सॉफ्टवेयर एंड जे आर ई इज फॉर रनिंग ओके द जे डी के रिक्वायर्स जे आर ई बिकॉज रनिंग जावा प्रोग्राम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ डेवलपिंग दैम सो ना वी विल बी प्रोसीडिंग टू इंस्टॉल द जे डी के बिफोर इंस्टॉलिंग द जे डी के गो टू दिस पी सी और माई कंप्यूटर क्लिक ऑन प्रॉपर्टीज एंड वी आर जस्ट सींग इफ यूर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अफ्ट सिक्सटी फोर बेट और अ थर्टी टू बेट सो माई ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज अ सिक्सटी फोर बेट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इफ यू आर इज योर इज अ थर्टी फोर थर्टी टू बेट प्लीज नोट दैट नाउ वी विल गो टू गूगल एंड विल टाइप जावा सॉरी जे डी के फॉर विंडोज ओके सो वी विल क्लिक द लिंक ऑफ जावा डाउनलोड बाय और एकल एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग लिनक्स और मैक ओ एस प्लीज डाउनलोड फ्रॉम यर फॉर विंडोज यूजर प्लीज गो टू विंडोज टैब एंड फॉर सिक्सटी फोर इंस्टॉलर डाउनलोड द सिक्सटी फोर इंस्टॉलर एंड हियर इट इज डाउनलोडिंग सो वाइल दैट डाउनलोड फॉर मैक ओ एस यूजर्स प्लीज डाउनलोड फ्रॉम हियर एंड फॉर लिनक्स यूजर्स इंस्टॉल द जे डी के फ्रॉम हियर सो एज इट इज इंस्टॉल्ड ओपन द जे डी के क्लिक ऑन यस वेट फॉर द इंस्टॉलर टू ओपन क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट एंड द जावा इज इंस्टॉलिंग ऑन योर डिवाइस सो नाउ एज जावा इज इंस्टॉल्ड सक्सेसफुली वी हैव टू क्लोज दिस क्लोज द क्लोज दिस ऑल्सो सो नाउ वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू चेक वेयर जावा इज इन ऑन इज इन आर सिस्टम आर नॉट सो वॉट विल डू इज वी विल गो टू द रन एंड टाइप सी एम डी हियर ओके एंड वी विल टाइप द कमांड जावा सी so it is directly installed in my uh, computer but if you are not seeing this if you are seeing that it is not not a recognizable command then what you what you do is uh, you will go to this pc or my computer okay you will uh, go to windows c 
you will go to the program files and find java in it click on the jdk click on the bin folder copy the path from here control c click on the above part and control c okay go to this pc again uh, go to the properties and here go to advanced system settings in advanced system settings go to environment variables so uh, if you are not seeing it it must be not in the, your environment variable so what you want to do is uh, in the user variables click new and here create java and give the variable value this okay then click ok and then click ok and ok and now we will when will you when you will type uh, in the cmd command java c then it will be showing this okay so what is intellij idea used for intellij idea is an integrated integrated development environment ide for jvm languages including java kotlin designed to maximize developers productivity okay so just like android studio uses sdk software development kit similarly intellij idea uses jdk java development kit or uh, that we we will be installing in the next video and i'll be explaining what jdk is in the next video so now let's move to install intellij idea and for linux and mac users just note that after opening the installer all steps would be the same okay so uh, just go to the google and type intellij idea intellij idea download click the first link download intellij idea and uh, download the community version for mac os and linux user uh, continue from here and for windows user download the community version okay so we will wait for it to download okay so the installer is downloaded for the intellij idea we will open it the exe file so the setup is loading okay click yes click next click next uh, here click intellij idea community edition and here click dot kt and then click next install so we will wait for the uh, intellij idea to install okay so the ide has been installed here click on run and then finish so now we will just wait for the intellij idea to run so here is the intellij idea community edition you can see my version here 2021.3 is my version and jetbrain is the company for developing it so here it is already loading my project okay so what you have to do is you have to create on file you have to create on file and then new and project so you might be looking at a screen like this so what you have to do is uh, you just have to go to uh, kotlin and then you have to choose a any uh, folder 
Okay. So I have to choose any folder here. I have just made a new folder Kotlin and I choose this folder. Okay. And I name my project as project one or new project. New project. And just click on next. Finish. And the gradle is finishing up the process and it loaded our new project. Okay, so it has already loaded a, load a file with the function of hello world. So what I'll do is I'll just remove it. And here you have the main.kt file where you can write the code. Okay, so we will be writing the code uh, in next of our videos. Right now we have not installed the JDK in our system. So um, if we have uh, inst if we have if we would run the code itself, it will not be running. Okay, and let the Gradle build all the files okay then you can close the IntelliJ idea in this video we are going to write our first program which is hello world program and uh, so we have opened IntelliJ idea for that and we will the first the program structure goes like function fun main i'll be explaining the program to you in a while print ln is a command for printing a statement and hello world okay so when i run this program this gives me okay so you can run a program from here and here also so i prefer running program from here okay so this gives me an output as hello world okay so what it does is like uh, what I will be uh, uh, explaining you the part of the program. So what is the fun? The fun is a word in Pro Kotlin programming language or many programming language and fun stands for function. A function is se section of program that performs a specific task. So I can create another function in the same program. So this is a the fun represents a function and main main is the name of this function this particular function has a name main function have names so they can be distinguished from each other the function is called main because it is the first or the main function that is called when you run the program so when i whenever i run the program uh, it search for the main function and that is run every time you run the so fun main is the function main function okay the function name is always followed by a parenthesis this is the parenthesis open and close parenthesis inside the parenthesis you can put uh, information for the function to use okay so whatever information the function is using you can put it there now there are curly braces outside this fun main so these curly braces inside these curly braces we are we write the task we have to perform now uh, this line prints the text hello world okay print elements tells the system to print a line of text inside the parenthesis these parenthesis okay uh, you put the text to be printed notice that the text to be printed is surrounded by quotes these are the quotes this tells the system that everything inside the quotation mark should be this this should be everything inside the quotation marks should be printed exactly as it is so to actually print the text the whole print error instruction has to be inside the main function okay so so far that is clear now uh, we will be learning more about the print function what about we don't write 
ln here when what what happens when we run this program so when we run this program the we will find that the output is same to same there is no change in the output so what is the difference between print and print ln when i add one more line here and that say print hi and when i run this program you can you will find the difference so this this uh, hi is printed just right after the hello world even if i have uh, wrote in wrote it in the next line and when i uh, give the command print ln here then what will happen so i have run this program and we will let it compile now you can see that hi is printed on the next line so we can conclude that the ln in the print ln stands for uh, next line or we can say when we use print ln the 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 text inside the quotation mark is printed in the next line so for this you can also use the uh, black backslash n or the escape sequence so i'll be demonstrating that so in this quote under this quotation mark when i use black slash backslash n here and run this program so here we can find that again the hi is under the hello world so what this backslash n command tells you or the escape sequence tells the program when i enter into the print hello world and then this backslash n tells me to go to the next line and then print hi okay so that that's about the backslash n command now we will talk about some comments in kotlin so uh, i have to write here that this is my first code so how i write here and when i write the this thing here this text here this has no effect on the code so after using this to slash uh, this program this this sentence is not a part of code so the symbol slash slash uh, represents a single line command which tells the compiler to ignore everything from this symbol to the end of the line okay typically signal line signal line comment is used to make a quick comment about a single line of code so uh, comments are very important in any code because after some time after one month two month or three month when i will be looking in the code i will not be recognizing anything in it or i can say that when i uh, when me and my friend are working on a project and i have to share my codes code with him so he also should understand the thing which i have used in code and why i am used used that in code so that's why co uh, these are important command okay so what if i have to uh, write a multi line command such that i have to write three four lines of command so i have you I, I will use this this um, symbol and this pair of symbols denotes a multi line command so it tells the compiler that everything that comes under this and this uh, symbol should be ignored okay so these are about the comment